At Bretton Woods, New Hampshire, delegates from 44 allied and associate countries arrived for the opening of the United Nations Monetary and Financial Conference. Invited by President Roosevelt to the first major world financial meeting since the London Conference of 1933, they will work in the seclusion of this White Mountains resort. After years of colonial rule, what we now call the developing world is still economically captured by an equally insidious enslaver, debt traps. With the help of Western-backed dictatorial neo-colonial governments taking out large World Bank and IMF loans, debt servicing payments have a crippling effect on these still-developing resource-rich nations. We'll discuss the cruelty of the IMF and World Bank and more with economist and professor Rob Larson. This is Revolution. We work many different ways, but perhaps the most common is that we will identify a third world country that has resources our corporations covet, like oil, and then arrange a huge loan to that country from the World Bank or one of its sisters. However, the money never goes to the country. Instead, it goes to our own corporations to build infrastructure projects in that country, power plants, highways, industrial parks, things that benefit a few rich people in that country, as well as our own corporations, but do not help the majority of the people at all, because these people are too poor to buy electricity or have cars, they don't have the skills to get jobs in industrial parks, and yet they, the whole country, is left holding a huge debt, and it's such a huge debt they can't possibly repay it. So at some point, the economic hitmen go back and say, you owe us a lot of money, you can't repay your debts, so give us a pound of flesh. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe on your way out. You can catch the live stream of This Is Revolution every Tuesday through Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific Time and Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific Time. This is Revolution. Revolution.